Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. My name is Daniel, a former engineer now running an online course creation agency. And in this video, I'm going to walk through the exact system that currently governs my life and that has allowed me to increase my productivity as no other system has could. This is how this video is going to be structured. First, we're going to introduce what systems are to later discover why we need them. After that, I'm gonna lay down the full four-tiered system that I have built in Notion. And then, of course, I'm going to show you how you can fill this system by using some key questions that are going to make you think about your life, for sure. And then I will show you how to use this system so everything is always up and running. So let's get into it. So first of all, what are systems? Every one of us in our daily lives perform hundreds of tasks. If we look at them individually, they may look unconnected unrelated between them. But the reality is that more often than not, they're all connected. They're all part of our life system. So what is a system? A system, simply put, is what allows us to see all the interconnections between seemingly unconnected pieces of data, to then put them inside the same ecosystem in order to achieve a defined purpose. So if you look at it, almost everything in life operates following systems where everything is interconnected. So for example, let's look at nature, the way plants take the energy from the sun to grow, or even businesses, the way that they reinvest their money to generate more growth in the future. Everything is interconnected. So now the question becomes, why do we need systems? So well, as far as I'm concerned, systems allows us to first, save us time because we become more efficient with our time. And second, they allow us to achieve more because we have more perspective of the parts involved in our system. As we are able to see how everything is related, we are more able to make better decisions. But in this video, I'm going to focus on a very specific system, and this is our life's system. All we do on a daily basis can be put into a unique system that can help us navigate our life, ensuring that the important parts of our life are always taken care of. So this is what I've been working for the past year, and I'm super excited to show you this system that I've been working on, because I really think that it can improve your life immensely. And if it's not this exact system, I hope that it can bring you some new ideas on how to better your systems, or even to get you started in building a system for your life. Because when we talk systems, there is no one size fit all solution. So for building this system, I needed a tool flexible enough that could allow me to build my system exactly how I wanted, while at the same time avoiding to have to code an app by myself. So after trying several tools such as Evernote or Todoist, I found them to be quite rigid. But finally, I found a tool that is flexible and capable enough to do the job that I wanted, and that is Notion. Notion is a productivity app, part of the no-code movement, that can allow infinite degrees of customization. And while it can be a little bit daunting to use at first, it certainly has been a game changer for me and for thousands of other people that are using it right now. Although this tool can be used for so much, in this video we're just going to be using for building our life system. So let me show you how this system is structured before getting into Notion. After several trials, I have compressed this system into four unique databases. Each database builds on top of each other. They have their own purpose and they are revised periodically although for different time intervals per database, which I will explain later. So now let me start from the base. We're going to be covering the databases from the less actionable and more general to the more actionable and more specific. So the first database of this system is the base of the whole system and is what is going to keep our life standing and working. And it's what I call the pillars database. The pillars are going to be the big areas of our life. You can think of them as those areas of our life that we, if we don't take care of, our life will fall into pieces. So things like friends and family, product development, health and fitness, all can fit into this pillars database. We can also think of them as timeless and invariable over time. So no due dates are going to be used here, of course. And these areas are supposed to be nurtured for our entire lifetime. This database is very important because it will force us to think of different goals for each of the pillars. So guess which is the next database? The goals. So in this database, we are going to include the actual goals that we want to achieve for each of the pillars, as I said before. Goals can be even ethereal. They don't have to be very precise. It's what comes from your heart. So things like, I want to improve my intimacy with my partner, 
or I want to have a thriving business or I want to be fit and healthy. They all can be used as a goal. Those are not measurable, they are not specific, but they are easier for us to create in the first place. And the main purpose of these goals is to act as a bridge between the pillars and the next database that I'm going to introduce right now, which is the outcomes. This database is going to be tightly related to our goals database, as it's going to be containing the measurables that we need to achieve in order to achieve each of the goals. So for example, to the I want to have a thriving business goal, I can attach the outcome of I want to earn 60k dollars this year, or I want to grow my website to 5,000 visitors per month. Or to the I want to be healthy, we can attach the outcome of I want to work out four times per week. So that is my definition of being healthy. These measurables are going to help us identify which are going to be the daily tasks that we need to achieve for fulfilling each of the outcomes. And now we have come to the last database, which is the tasks database. Well, this is pretty self-explanatory and it's a database that is going to contain all the daily tasks that we need to do in order to fulfill each of the outcomes. And this interconnection between these two databases, the outcomes and the tasks, can help us prioritize that for the active outcomes that we are working on, we always have at least one task ongoing that we need to get done. And this can be due with the automation inside of Notion. So now that the structure of the system is clear, I'm going to walk you through how to field this system using Notion. What is good about creating a system like this is that it forces you to organize your life and ask yourself questions that are going to have very revelatory answers. So let's get into Notion. So here, the first database that we have is what I said before, the pillars. The pillars can be very similar for most of us. So here I can give you my recommendation to use these pillars as a base and then modify them as you see fit. Or else you can use this prompt question. What are the parts of my life that if they broke, my whole life will fall apart? Once we have set our base with the pillars, we are going to go to the goals database. Now the process will be to input the goals into our system. But since this goals database is related to our pillars database, I prefer to take one pillar and think of all the goals that I want to achieve in this pillar. So I'm going to do the input from the pillars database. You can see that here I can start writing all the goals that I want for the learning pillar, for example. And I will do the same process with all the pillars until I have all my goals fulfilled for each of the pillars. The question that I may ask for myself in order to come up with these goals will be what do I want to achieve in this area of my life? And I will try to keep the answers in plain English and with no quantifiables. So once we have set at least one goal for each of the pillars, we are going to come down on our system to the outcomes database. And here the process it will be the same. As the goals and the outcomes database are related, I prefer to fill my outcomes from my goals database. This will allow me to focus on one goal and set all the outcomes that I want to achieve for this particular goal. And I will do the same with all my goals. Here the question that we can use is which measurable events I need to achieve in order to fulfill this goal. So once we have finished to input all the outcomes, we are going to be inputting all the tasks that we need to fulfill for each of the outcomes. Here, I'm not a big fan to include all the tasks that we need for each of the outcomes, but just the few first tasks, since doing otherwise can be a little difficult to plan. If you can do it, perfect, but I will not do it. So at least I will draft the first five tasks that we need to do. So now, just in the beginning of this creation process, I'm going to be using this outcomes database to be fixing in one outcome and describing the first tasks that I need to do for this outcome. But then for future additions, I have developed a specific workflow for that matter that are explained in other videos. So now that we have filled the tasks that we need to get done for our outcomes, let me show you what for me is the icing on the cake of this system. Because for me personally, not all the pillars are going to have goals or outcomes attached. For example, health and fitness, the only thing that I'm currently doing for it is to work out at least four times per week. And that is not a task, that is more of a habit. So I have built a habit tracker that is also connected to my pillars database. So therefore, one pillar can be sustained by a habit or a routine or a goal. Here you can see the simple system that I have created for my habits and how they are connected to 
my pillars database. But this habit tracking system will be covered in future videos too. So once we have built all these system, how do we actually use them? So far we have just covered how to set it up in the beginning, but how do we use them over time? I have found that just by doing three key actions, this system can be up and running all the time. The first thing that I do is weekly reviews. For me, weekly reviews do wonders to give us enough perspective to see where we are going. This review takes place every Sunday and in it, I plan all my tasks for the upcoming week. And I have a dedicated workflow in Notion that allows me to go through this workflow, not even thinking about it. The second part is my monthly reviews. Remember, in the weekly reviews, I'm just taking care of my tasks and I'm scheduling them into my system. But in this monthly review, I mostly focus on my goals and outcomes, which is the higher picture. I check if any of them has already been accomplished. I check the status of the ongoing ones and I check if I need to add new ones into my system. And of course, I also have a specific workflow that guides me through this process. And then the third one will be a very simple workflow that I have built within a page in Notion that its sole purpose is to help me add tasks to my system on the go. So I will just open this page, add the task, and that's it. Those tasks, unless they are urgent, are never scheduled right away. So they will go through my weekly review process to be scheduled. So that is it. These three actions are what keeps this seemingly complex system up and running all the time. So now feel free to replicate this same system or pick whatever works for you and include it in your own system. Or if you prefer to use a template that replicates exactly this system that I just showed to you, click the link in the description below. Or if you are new to Notion and want to know the basics of the app, plus having a step-by-step -step guidance on how to build systems like this and even much more use cases covered, you can check my Notion course which is currently on pre-sale. This course also offers access to the template that I mentioned before. So that is a wrap, friends. Thank you so much for watching. And if you are after more Notion or productivity videos, don't forget to subscribe for more weekly content. Until next time.